Well, hello and welcome back. And this week we're gonna talk about sunglasses. So in all of 2022, I wore these. These are uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses. I actually can't remember the model name. They're a polarized Chromance RB4330-CH. And what I really liked about them is they're an all plastic frame. So there's no nose pads to kind of like get bent out of shape and they have these rubber tips here at the end that keeps it from sliding off your face in uh, sweaty uh, situations. And they grip your head really, really well. But when I got to um, Squamish and you start diving in and out of really thick forests, you learn instantly the downside to having a fixed uh, tint uh, on the lens. So I knew that something was gonna have to change. So. For 2023, what I have done is I've gone out and I have bought the Smith Wildcats. Yes, I know everybody has a Wildcat, but I bought these in the photochromic lens. What is photochromic, you might be asking? Well, it actually changes the level of darkness depending on how much uh, direct sunlight it is getting. So these have a 20 to 80% VLT. VLT stands for visible light transfer. So if it's 80% VLT, that means 80% of the light is getting in. And if it's down at 20, then they have dimmed down a lot darker and only 20% of the light is coming in. Like the Ray-Bans that I really love, they have rubber on both arm bands, which keeps it from you know, slipping and falling off your face. It does have a nose pad, uh, but they are a two position nose pad, so you can pinch it and bring them in or you can spread them out and they are rubberized. So they are gonna keep uh, on your nose where you want them to be. What's also quite nice is they're a larger frame. Typically I would never go for something like this, but when you pair it underneath a helmet, then it actually fills up your face quite nicely and it keeps a lot of the little dirt bits that would otherwise kind of fling up underneath the lens and get in your eyes, keeps that all out, which is actually really, really good. You might be able to see now because I have uh, the sun, I've, I've, I've intentionally stood here so that the sun can try to darken down these lenses. And it does work, albeit that's kind of the one downside I think to these. I have tried actually uh, driving in them and I find that they don't actually change at all. I've gone out in cold temperatures and I found that they automatically dimmed because of the ambient temperature. So they seem to be temperature sensitive and they seem to like maybe require UV light or something like that, that the windows on my truck might otherwise be filtering out. They do work, um, but I would say that um, when I'm riding, it doesn't darken right down and then lighten right back up the way that I would want it to. Um, but I can describe the amount of darkness that it gives you as taking out all of the glare and taking out the harshness of the light, but actually remaining quite clear and transparent throughout the process. So not actually filtering out a ton of light is maybe not actually a bad thing. The reason why I say that is Mike Casimir, uh, he's known for being a presenter and um, author on the Pink Bike website, as well as being a Bellingham local, Bellingham being where we are right now. He has actually said uh, that all sunglasses should come with a clear lens. And what's kind of ironic actually is these photochromic, they do come with two lenses and the second is just a fixed clear lens, but I'm not sure why you would ever want that because the idea of the photochromic lens is that it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you nearly a clear lens as well as something that can tint down to approximately 20 VLT. So the reason why he probably made that statement is likely to do with the fact that, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, you get a lot of flat light, cloudy days, and that's really where a clear lens is going to excel. Myself being out west, you know, we have a lot of open exposed climbing roads uh, mixed with um, a thinner, albeit darker canopy. And so for me, in those situations, I want more of the tinting prospect. But having that sort of clear lens is gonna provide you with all of the wind protection. So if you wear contact lenses like I do, mud protection. So on a day like today where the trails are uh, running quite muddy and lots of standing puddles, 
it's going to give you all that uh, eye protection, even from branches or other sort of debris. The fact that it's going to actually provide you with that, uh, that clear um, quality when you need it, but also dim down when it is brighter out. So I'll say this, the Smith Wildcats are a staple at any trailhead for a reason. They work really, really well and all the features like the rubberized nose bridge and ear pieces are universal across all their lineups. However, I think the Photochromic are worth consideration. I don't think that it is maybe the best um, uh, uh, technology on the market. I have heard of some other technologies that may be less uh, temperature sensitive, but I think that if you are in an area like the Pacific Northwest or up in Squamish, where you are going from open you know, fire roads where you really would like some uh, uh, tint um, into you know, thicker forests and darker forests, then I think they're really genuinely worth consideration so that you don't have to make that compromise one way or the other. So uh, I'm gonna continue to wear these for the rest of 2023. And if I have any other thoughts or updates, I will uh, update you in the future. In the meanwhile, if you have any particular questions about these sunglasses, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, informative, or at least entertaining, please consider giving it a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so because I have plenty more gear review videos to come, but this is inherently a mountain bike channel and there's definitely a lot of riding. So if you haven't already checked out my uh, thank you for 100 subscribers episode, where I talk about all my 2023 plans, be sure to head over there and, uh, and you'll find out a lot more about this channel. So in the meanwhile, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. You take care and bye for now. Thank you.